Hi, today I'm going to review how to build a custom garment on the Reglatech Builder. Here you will see the home page. There are a couple different areas that I want to point out before we get started. At the top right is a section to log in. If you have a, an account already, you can go ahead and log in, or if you're new, you can create a new account. Here you could register as a guest. It is not required to have an account to build on the Reglatech Builder, but it has some benefits. Since I already have an account, I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now that I'm logged in, I'm going to show you a couple different areas. First is the search function. Let's say I don't know what kind of garment I really want, but I kind of know the area it's in. This allows me to search it in a couple different ways. First is the filtered search. So I can search by sport, by gender, by garment, if there's something I know I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and select the different areas here. Basics, gender, I'm just looking for a t-shirt. So I'm going to select tech tee and then hit search. This will bring up the garments we have in that filtered search. Or if I know the SKU number, I can go ahead and type that here and hit search and it brings up the garment that I'm looking for. Now back on the home page we have the my mockup section. Now if you create an account and you're logged in you can click this button and it will take you to all the mockups that you have created. This just makes it easy to find something that you've worked on previously and need to share with somebody or make edits to. It just has some benefits and it keeps all your work in one place. And finally, back on the home page is the web reference number. When you're done creating a mock-up, you can hit save and it will populate a web reference number for you. So if I type that in here and hit submit, it's going to take me to the mock-up that I created. This just allows me to view it, um, to make any changes that I might need to make, and to share it with others. So I created a t-shirt and a short, both men's and women's, so it shows all that here. But for the purposes of this video, I want to start from scratch. So I'm going to hit start over. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit start. This will take you to all the categories that we have. We have it broke down by sports or basics or t-shirts, whatever you're looking for. Um, and then I'm going to click basics. Here it has it broke down by gender and then by category. And as we're moving along, you see the red bar moves along with us. If I wanted to go back to something and select something else, I just click at this top bar and click what I need to click. If you were to hit the back button, it would actually take you out of the builder and you would have to start over. So now that I'm back to the two garments to choose from, I want the short sleeve tee. Within each garment, we have several design options available. Um, I'm going to select the pro style for this one. The first step is to choose your colors of your garment. Um, it won't allow me to go to the next step until I've fulfilled every single thing within this step. So you can see that the next is grayed out. So step one is to select color one. And as we select a color, it will show it to the left. So if you can view it in this grid format. We have several color options available. Or if you'd rather see it in a list format, you can click this button up here and view it in a list. So once I select a color, it kicks me out and wants me to go to the next color, and it will show it to the left. Now let's say I don't know what color I really want. I kind of want to see it a different couple of ways. I can click this little eyeball button up here. This will allow me to click on different colors, and it will show it to the left without kicking me out. So I'm going to click orange, and I'm actually going to unselect this eyeball button and hit accept. Next is black. And as we're moving along, you can see it shows you to the left, white, what sections are changing color, and then black. And now that I have fulfilled every step within this step, the next button is red and it will allow me to move on. Here it shows all the different locations you can have for your decoration, and this is where you will choose where you want that. Um, we have 
several options available and within Regulatech you can also have several decoration locations all included in the price. So I'm going to select upper front, hit accept, then this gives you the different decoration options within this location. So logo um, is where we have a bunch of stock art loaded, mascots um, broke down by different categories, equipment, military, etc. Um, or if you have your own logo, you could upload that here as well. Player name and team name. So this allows you to put an individual name or if you have a team name that you want to put on the front, you can put that here as well. Um, I'll show you a little bit more about player name at a different location. I want to go ahead and use the graphic option. So I'm going to click graphic and then click on this X. This gives me several multi-line stock art options as well as some graphic stock art options to choose from. So lots of options here. I'm going to click on this Falcons football and hit accept. Now the basic layout for the Falcons football is going to remain the same. This just allows me to change the name and the color. So I'm going to change it to Carol and I'm going to change football to Tigers. Oops, clicked out of there. Tigers, and then I can select the colors. Again, I could select any color. We have the same list of colors that we did for the garment, but I want to match what's already on my garment, so that shows me those colors right here. So I'm going to select black and then white for the outline color, and then I can hit complete. Now, as I said before, you can put as many decoration locations as you want. So I'm going to add some stuff to the back. I'm going to add a player name and number to the back. So for the player name, I'm going to select upper back, hit accept. Um, I'm going to select player name. And as you can see to the left, it shows player name. This will always default to player name just for the mock-up purpose. Um, in the end, if you were to actually go order, we would need a roster of names that would go on the back of each of the garments. Here I can select a different size, so if I want it smaller or bigger, I could do that. You just select the size you want and hit accept. Here I can change the font, so we have several font options available. I kind of want to mirror what the logo on the front looks like, and I know Falcon is kind of close to that, so I'm going to hit Falcon and hit accept. Here I could change the font style, so I could change the layout to a vertical. We have different options available for that. I'm just going to leave it straight. This um, section right here allows me to add a fill pattern. So you could add fill patterns to the name, the number, the team name. We have several patterns available. Um, but because of the stripes on this shirt already, I'm just going to leave it solid. So I'm going to hit cancel and then I'm going to select no for fill pattern. Um, here you would select the fill pattern for the name, the color for the name. So I'm going to select black. And then I want it to look like the logo on the front. So I'm going to add an outline. So I would select yes. You can select one or two colors of outline. Um, it automatically defaults to the colors that are already in your design. But if you wanted to choose a different color, you could do that as well. So that fulfills the look of the player name. So I'm going to hit complete. And then I'm going to hit add a location again. So I can add a player name or a player number. So I select center back and hit accept. And then I could select numbering. Um, for mock-up purposes, this always defaults to 26. You can change this to whatever number you want if you want to see your player's number are there. Um, again, in the end, we would need a roster of names and numbers to go on the back of each shirt. Um, here I can change the size, so if I wanted it smaller or bigger, I could change it to any size I want. Um, I want to match the same font as the player name, so I'm going to hit Falcon and hit Accept. Um, here you could also add a fill pattern. I'll just go ahead and do that so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to select this speed one. And then it will always ask you to choose the fill colors for the fill pattern. So I would select on color one here and then select a color. Change that to black. 
And then again, it asked if you want an outline, so I'm going to say yes. And then one or two, again, it automatically defaults to white because that's what I already have. And then hit complete. So now that I'm happy with all the decoration on my shirt, you can see the next button is red and I can go ahead and move to the next step. Here we are to the summary page. So this shows me my final mock-up and this is where I can save the mock-up. So to save that I can hit save as. You'll have to give your mock-up a name and you can name it whatever you want and hit save. This will populate your web reference number that you will need for your ordering or to share with others or to pull the mock-up back up. So here's that number. So you can either write it down or you can save it. Um, this is just an important number to have. So I'm going to hit close. Now let's say I wanted to add a pair of shorts to this. I could hit add new item right here and this would take me back to the beginning of the builder and I could go through the whole steps of building a short and then it would automatically add it to the bottom of this shirt. That way you have the shirt and short on the same web reference ID and order. Um, I can also preview this. So if I hit preview here This just allows me to view everything I built for this garment on one sheet. So it gives me the web reference ID up here. It gives me the garment, the SKU number, the design I used, um, the fabric of the garment. Um, right here's the colors that I chose for the garment. And then down below it shows all the different decoration locations and its information. So the font I used, the graphic I use here it shows the number size I use and the name size I use the font etc so this is a good sheet to have as well I can also download it into a PDF and share it with others so once I download it I can save it to my computer I can use this download to save an email to others or to the graphic edge for my order lots of options here. So now I'm done building my uniform. I can save this and send it on for an order. That completes this tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact the Graphic Edge or your local sales rep. Thanks!